Welcome back to In Photoshop 1. If you are sending a file via email or putting your file on the web, chances are you will have to scale down the size of your file. The more vectors, layers, and textures you have in your document, the larger the file. This means your file will take a longer time to load when opening on the web or any application for that matter. Depending on its size and your email service, you may not be able to send that file via email. My final vector artwork is large enough that it will load in Acrobat in the same amount of time it takes me to open Illustrator. We can do several things to make our file smaller. First I will select everything on my first page. Then I will go to the top menu and select Object Rasterize. In the following pop-up window there will be further options. I can keep my resolution the highest possible for print quality. However, it is important that I am able to send this file, so I will make a compromise and select medium quality. When finished, simply hit OK. It will take a while before your vectors are converted to pixels. One thing to keep in mind is that your artwork is no longer editable as a vector, unless you were to hit Command Z at this stage. I will then perform the same option on my second page. I will save my publication as a PDF. After clicking Save, I am given a window with more saving options. To further shrink our file size, I will uncheck the Preserve Illustrator editing capabilities. At this stage, hitting Command Z will not save you if you catch my drift. Finish by clicking Save PDF. To show you the difference that these adjustments can make, I have already saved my file as a PDF without following the previous steps. My before file is 9.3 megabytes and my adjusted file is 2.3 megabytes. If for some reason you need to send your file out in its largest format, there are several file sharing products on the web these days, like Google Drive, Dropbox minus SkyDrive and SugarSync just to name a few. Many of these services require an account for both the sender and receiver. However, there are services available out there that will allow you to send a very large file via email. One that I often use and would personally recommend is WeTransfer.com. This site will allow you to send a whopping 2 gigs of information without creating a profile. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and share this video. Check out my other videos and subscribe.